Hey, welcome to the show and today I'm going to show you how to load film onto a Bronica GS1. The Bronica GS1 is a 6x7 medium format camera and I'm going to load a roll of HP5. So first thing you want to do is take the back off. It's much easier to do it if you take the back off. So I'm going to remove it, especially with the prism. There's a little button on the bottom so you click it and remove the back. I put the camera to the side. And this is the film back. This is the 6x7 for 120 film. It has its dark side, which won't come out when uh, it's off the body to prevent fogging. It has these two little buttons, which you have to press together. So when I press it together, it pops open. We have the insert, kind of like the Mamiya RZ, which is this. And we have to put the new um, empty spool on the left side. If you are ever in doubt of where it should go, always when you spin Wherever the grip is, is where you want to have the empty spool. So for that, we have to pop it up. Let me see. These little um, spools will pop up on their own. So they can go up like that, as you can see. I put the empty spool on the other side. So I put it there, push down till it will lock. It doesn't want to lock, there it goes. Locked into place. Here's where the new roll would go. So I'll move this to the side, open my box of film. As always, remember, remove the little sticker that comes with the film completely, because if not, this would end up in your frame probably, or even worse, in some of your um, gears from the camera. So now what we want to see is the black paper as the film is going to be exposed towards the lens. So we put the bottom in first. Now we can push the top all the way till it locks. You see, now it's flush. We grab the backing paper, we pull it out, go all around, and we go to the top here to the slit. We put this through the little slit. Oh, sorry. Put through the little slit. Oh, sorry again. Put this through the slit. We can start spinning it. Just grab some tension there. And now we have to turn it till the red arrow here aligns with the arrow on the film. So we start spinning. And there we go. That's there, it's ready. Now we put this back onto the film back. We close it all the way. And now what we can do is we spin it till we see number one here. So I'm gonna start spinning the top. You see it's gone past the S, which means empty. I'm going to do it like this, which is easier. Continue going, 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 going. There, it stops at one. Once it stops, I wouldn't keep on spinning just in case. And now we reattach it to the body. So first goes the top. And then the bottom. So yeah, now we're ready to shoot our medium format film. Do remember on the back of the GS1, you have an ISO, so you can change that by pushing this little button that would be exposure compensation or pushing the bottom one and then you can spin the wheel. So if you push the middle down, you can change the ISO to whatever you want as it has a meter um, with this prism. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.